Sup guys, it's Z, and today's video is going to be super short because I wanted to share with you how I summoned Naya, and also I wanted to share some reports I did in Dragon Challenge with her. So the Deep Sea Treasure event is a new event that came out so that you can summon this new infantry hero who is so OP, right? But um, basically you can summon her fully in the first one, the second one you can get her shards and a bunch of other rewards. But let's be honest, we all want to do this event only to get Naya. So I told myself that I wasn't going to spend for this hero I didn't want to spend at all because he has no, I'm a moderate spender, I'm not one of those big spenders I just spend, you know, every so often but I did ask my king once he did summon her, he summoned her so quickly too so I asked him, you know, how much did you spend and everything like that he told me he bought one big pack and he got lucky, he got it so I was like, okay, well, what are the chances that I'm going to get, like, the full Naya in one go, in one big pack, right? So what I did was I started to do all the wishes, I started to kill all the monsters, anything I could to just kind of um, heighten my chances. And of course, after I finished, you know, all these tasks, I was like, you know what, I'm going to test my luck just like my king and I'm going to buy one big pack. And that was my limit, like I did not want to buy any more packs after that. If I got maybe like two shards, I'd or like even three five shards i'd be super happy as it is because you know eventually over time i will get it but i did want to test my chances on getting this new hero and also if you guys do wishes at the same time during this event it also coincides with the magic book event i can't guarantee that it will coincide with every single kingdom such as the new kingdom but it is on right now and here is the one big pack i got so in this pack it gives you 1000 deep sea mystery chests so in uh, these rewards right here you see deep sea mystery chest is, is the second one right there now i'm going to open all of these with you guys i'm going to use all of it so the first one i opened this one will unlock some of the con shards and as you guys can see i did not even get you know even a shard out of that but once i opened this one which is the one i bought it did give a combo so you see the multiplier of times three times two times five um that's a really good thing and i gu i guess that's why it was worth it and then once i looked at this page it looked like i got all the pieces to summon her so i got really lucky it's really awesome i'm not sure if there is a game glitch today but i mean if there is then i only got one pack to get her and i got really lucky so i hope you guys get the same luck too that's why i'm putting out this video so that you guys know if you do want her and um, you're a moderate spender to a spender. It only takes, you know, that one big pack. And you'll most likely get lucky with seeing, like, the multiplier effect. Alright, and with all the gold shards I saved, I got her up to 60, almost to 80. That's why it's really important for you to hoard gold shards or even save until there's something good that comes out. And I tried using Beach 100 and level 60 Naya. The stats aren't that great because obviously level 60 doesn't really get you anything and I didn't put any skill books on her. So the second report is with Naya and Jason, and as you guys can see I wounded my king by 38k and the stats are not too high as well because you got like you know Jason increasing HP only. I put level 60 Naya with Gideon it hit 30k which is a lot less than the Jason and Naya combo and as you guys can see the stats are a little bit higher because both of them increase stats. So this next combo is really going to shock you. So what I've been told is that if you switch up the order of heroes and if you put a different hero that goes first instead of another hero, it would make a difference. So what I did was I asked support about it and Ethan, this GM, says that it does not affect it at all. But what I found out after this dragon challenge was that he was completely wrong because if you check this out, you guys will be super shocked because this shocked me as much as, you know, it'll shock you the difference that it made. So I'm going to show you one more time. This is when I put Naya first with Gideon and it hit for 30k wounded from to my king. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up the order. I'm going to put Gideon first. And lo and behold, I put Gideon first and Naya second. And check this out. The wounded went to 54,000 wounded. It went from 30,000 to 54. And I was just like, whoa, that's a, that's a huge jump, you know? And I was super surprised. And so what I did, because I know Naya has a chance to attack twice, just like Mulan did. So what I did was I attacked with the same combo again, just to make sure, you know, that it wasn't like a fluke. It wasn't that one chance. And what I found out was when I hit it again, it actually got wounded 
40k so that first one with the 54k that was the chance that activated in naya it was the reason why it went up so much but this one it made more sense it's a 10k difference from the first one when i put naya first and really that like very minimal marginal like marginal or whatever word that is like minimal difference it really would make a difference in each and every battle that you do and my theory on it now is that because you know you put a certain hero first then their skill activates first i don't know how it works but uh, maybe it deals with battle prestige i would have to play around with it a little bit more to test out but let's check out just on now so i'm going to revert back to the very first report that i showed you guys where i put naya and just on first just so that we have a clear reminder of how many i wounded this one was 38,084 to my and when i flipped the switch it was just on naya and then i wounded 39,508, which is like a clear difference of a thousand somethings right and as you guys can see you know it's very minimal of a difference because you know i don't know how what really plays a part in it just yet i really would have to test it out but definitely stay tuned while i keep testing all these formations out and um yeah now I want to take this moment to say happy birthday to one of the greatest friends I've met in this game. She will forever be a friend in reality as well. I cherish her very much and because I don't have a birthday cake, I got a green tea boba drink instead because she loves that. And I don't have candles so I'm using these cheap vanilla candles for now. I just want to say happy birthday, love you very much, I hope you have a great day. If you guys have not already, these are her coordinates. Please message her and let her know a happy birthday for me. She is one of my closest friends. And congratulations to the birthday girl for getting level 80 Naya. She saved up all her gold charge. She's the best horror I know. And I just wanted to let her know happy birthday, 88. So that's all the tips that I have for you guys today. And in this picture, I know that you guys don't see it yet, but then I will explain this whole picture that I made for you guys just for fun because in every single photo that I've made for you guys, like cover-wise, I do have um, an idea behind it. And I kind of wanted to explain this one because my friend ADA did not understand it. If you guys don't really know me, you guys um, will start to getting to know the fact that I love Disney. I love everything about Disney and I kind of am a person who's very... Um, I imagine a lot and I have a lot of ideas. So Jason and Gideon, they totally look like Disney princes. Exactly what Toe Satan says in my stream today. So the idea is that the two princes, they both have bodyguards, you know, Jason and Shrek, just like how they are on the wall. Beach and Gideon, like how they always are in a combo anyways. And they're fighting over princess naya so that's why this is a picture perfect moment and that's why i made it this way i hope you guys kind of laughed at that and uh, yeah i kind of saw the symbolic i put between you know Beej and gideon being used all the time and jason and shrek and yeah it's just something small that i wanted you to smile at when i explained it to you all right well these are all the tips i have for you today on uh, how to summon naya and i hope you guys the best of luck I'll see you guys in the next video. Share, like, and subscribe. See ya!